Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Game It Out. I am Josh. Couldn't get enough of that tech support. That's right, it's tech support, error unknown. We are playing as the amazing tech support specialist, first name Bruce Wayne, last name I am Batman. We've already seen more than one promotion. We're already a tier two specialist. With responsibility comes new tools. We now have a tool that allows us to look up people's account information, which I'm hoping means we can snoop into people's personal lives. Our brother, Colton, I am Batman, has also been trying to contact us about our sick mom and we've kind of given him the cold shoulder partially because I'm convinced he's not real and lastly there's like a hacker group or something named indigo that's tried to contact us to help us take down our own company from the inside which it's total amateur hour with these guys because they're trying to contact me on my work email we also met this deplorable fellow who wants us to give him money for access to his hot apps which we may look into this episode but for now we're going to continue on doing the hottest part of this job the actual tech support so here we go I've been having problems with my phone. You're chatting with tech support. Of course you have a problem with your phone. Oh, hell yeah. I can take multiple calls. Oh, crap. I accidentally just gave that person a new phone. Oh, God. Did that? Oh, God. Here it comes. Now Kamala's gonna yell at me. So now I need to ask these people for their account so I can look this information up. So Deborah here, we learned that her warranty is expired. Can't you escalate my claim? No. Okay. Now we got this dude. Family to one of the employees. Extended warranty. We can repair the phone, right? I'm assuming that's what it means, right? Come on. What the? F Come on. Come on. Oh, God. Here comes Kamala. You made a small mistake. You should have simply proposed they changed their battery. Oh. I can tell she's getting kind of testy. Oh, are you a police officer, Lana? Hello, Mr. I am Batman. I'm Special Agent Lana Black. I'm part of the investigation team concerning the emails you received from Indigo. I would like to speak to you. Do you have a moment? No. I understand that it's quite unconventional for a police interview to be conducted over technical support chat, but we decided this would make the good first triage because time is of the essence and there are many employees to interview. All I need is a little bit of your time. Would that be okay? No. I see. I'm disappointed and am noting down your lack of cooperation. Regardless, if you feel inclined to share more, you can reach me by email at lanablack.lcpd.com. Day seven. <sighs> Start the day as always with email. Kamala's letting me know that I don't have to ask about warranties. I can just look it up. Thank God. Ooh, look at this email. Nice little place. 53.4 acres of forest. Only $1.3 million? Well, hell yeah, let's reply to that. I'm very interested. Oh, he already responded. I'm happy to hear that you're interested in purchasing the Conway domain. <laughs> As you know, our client is ready to sell for only a cool $1.3 million. Hello, thank you for your swift response. I will send the money shortly. Send. I will not be obviously sending any of that money. Look at that. Look at all these contacts I have. Look at this email that I could send to Lana Black here. I wanted to mention that I remain dedicated to providing all the evidence required for your investigation. I understand it might take some time, and I'm doing my best to keep my intentions hidden, but I will continue offering you my support. Dude, you're sending this through your company email. Don't ever do that. No, we're not going to send that. All right, another day. Open up old BizBook Pro here. Open up Support Desk. This game is pretty much Papers, Please, Tech Support Edition, which uh, if you're into that, it can be pretty fun. Again, as someone who has done chat tech support before, it's sort of fulfilling and also horrifying. Like, it's kind of fun to check the nitty-gritty information. I like that now. Now that we can look at their record, we can use that information to creepily talk about things with them. Like, has your financial situation improved? I can't believe she would even respond seriously to that. Day 8. Batman's on the case. Following Indigo's threats and the unfortunate firing of our less trustworthy employees, we are now forced to take measures to ensure the ongoing safety of our customers. Starting today, every conversation will be officially logged and sent to our internal team for further analysis. Oh boy. This also brings an added benefit for customers requesting a transcript of their conversation, you will now be able to send them a copy through email. Why do I have to send it? Shouldn't that just be something they can like click a button? Whatever. Hi. Hi, Gertrude. Why do I have this information here? Has a prosthetic leg. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Sorry to hear about your leg. Can you imagine hearing that? Yeah, it was tough at first, but like anything else, you just get used to it. I guess that's kind of what I might say too in that circumstance. What happens if I just keep saying I'm sorry to hear about your leg? How do you even know that? Are you spying on me? You weren't concerned the first two times I asked? Let's just keep saying it. I'm sorry to hear about your leg. That is none of your worthless business, so shut up. But you were so receptive the first two times. Can't wait for the internal team to look at this one. Sorry, Gertrude, I can't help you here. Actually, never mind. 
My phone will- Oh, you people. You people. Can't connect to the internet. Check the settings. Reboot. Oh god, I'm starting to sound like a real tech support person. Day nine. Same old crap. Let's check our out mail. We also got a nice email from Kamala letting us know that if we're contacted by Indigo, forward those communications to her, including chat logs and emails. You got it. Oh my god, it's really happening. I'm like, alright, I checked my email first, and now I'm gonna open up all the programs, and I'm gonna put the windows where I like them. And I really do have a procedure now. It's always, what's your customer number, and what creepy things can I say to you? For example, brother takes care of sick mother, tough sell on additional products. Well, that's two awkward things right there. Well, I can't talk about the brother or the sick mom, which is probably for the better, but I can still try to sell him on things. Oh, I see. Let's finish this first, and we'll see afterwards. Oh, that was so polite of you. Oh, what was what was your problem again? Oh, I didn't even ask. <laughs> well, one minute into the call, and just like, so what's the problem? Can't find your phone? We got a solution for that. It's called Call Yourself, Idiot. Still can't find it? Well, then I can't help. Oh. Oh, God. Indigo Fox, how did you even get through? Your implicit rejection is a bane upon our hearts. The trumpets are... You know what? How am I supposed to be receptive to something like that? Even if I wanted to be on your side? I'm gonna treat you like everyone else. Can I please have your customer account number? What? He actually gave it to me? Of course, that's not my account number. That's yours. Is it? I wanna see it. Wait, I can't, but I wanna... I wanna look at it. Oh, well. I've been doing honest work, and this dude's just been talking the whole time. Quasar is the enemy. They keep a watchful eye on every communication through their network. We've infiltrated their system. We we have even learned about you, brother, including your mother's illness. Even your bank account. I don't care. Will you join us? I'm sorry, I can't help you out. How do I forward this to somebody? It's Valentine's Day. Upsell your products to increase your commission. Oh, God. So now the game is challenging us because I've been ignoring all this Indigo Fox stuff to protect my job, but now they're making me do the gross stuff nobody wants to do involving upselling. Ugh, and also we have Lana Black over here wanting Bruce Wayne to be part of the investigation. I urge you to work with us by saying sending any files which may compromise Indigo or even Quasar. Let's be clear, the way we're playing this game is to just not be helpful to anybody, really. We're just gonna tow the corporate line. Oh, hey, my information's in there now. Let's see what we got. Buy am Batman. I've been a junior tech specialist for 107 days? I don't remember that happening. What seems to be the problem? I'm having problems with my phone. Cool story, bro. Ugh, she wants a copy of the exchange. Okay, I'm gonna send her a copy of the true- Uh, that's not- What? Why am I saying this? I was just thinking about you send me an email? That's not sending the transcript. Here's the chat log. Following our conversation about your phone issues. There we go. Okay, that got real creepy real fast. I just got the logs. Thank you, sir. You've been a great help. <laughs> Who else can I email? Can I email her again? I realize this message may come out of the blue, but I didn't feel it would be right to not get back in touch with you. God, this is so creepy. Day 11. First of all, Kamala is letting me know lost phones can now be accessed with the new GPS tracking system. May need the unlock code for their phone. Download the information. Once you've tracked the phone, download the information and send over email. The GPS tracking service is available to all for free, so feel free to offer it liberally. You got it. Oh man, I can't email what's her face that I created creepily emailed. Wait, can I email myself? Is that what's happening here? Yeah, it's me. I bet you never thought I'd email you like this. How is this my life now? I'm doing tech support as a video game. Oh god, it's my brother again. He's got stuff to tell me, maybe. Well, in that case, can I have your customer number, brother? Look at my brother being a smartass over here. Mom is getting worse. The doctor proposed a new series of tests, but that's gonna cost money. Of course, we're talking around a thousand here. I know times are tough, but I really need the money for mom. Can you help? You know, it just occurred to me, I have no idea how much money I I have. But let's go with no. She needs money, Bruce Wayne, and she needs it now. I don't know how much longer she has without an operation. Really, Mom needs these tests. I know a thousand is a lot, but please, can't you do anything? No. I guess I'll have to find another way to save Mom's life somehow. Still, if you ever get the money, please send it my way. Take care of yourself, Bruce Wayne. While Donna's talking to me, let's open up our email again. See who I can email all creepy-like. I'm just gonna email everybody that I get throughout the day. Just, they all get an email that has nothing to do with my job. I should ask what is your customer number, but now I'm just asking for their email so I can immediately email them. Hi. <laughs> it's just <laughs> so weird. Ugh. Day 12. Dear diary, not much has happened. I just go to work every day. Well, that was fast. One day with GPS tracking enabled and now it's a paid service. Customers without an extended warranty will need to pay to get their phones tracked. Kamala, I think I figured out why Indigo exists. It's because you're pushing too many products too fast, maybe? Before we get started for the the day, I would like to know how much money I make now. Oh, wow, I have $511? I forgot that I get paid per call here. Man, $17 a call? I gotta work harder at this. Oh, and here
here's the thing where I said I'd send him the 1.3 million dollars. <laughs> what do you mean I don't have enough funds? It's in escrow right now. Well, they're gonna be waiting a while. Spence also wants me to send him money. Yeah, let's just send Spence some money. I want to know what these apps are that he's gonna help me with. So glad you took me up on this offer. I promise you won't regret it. I attached the file of her email. Just click on the file name and download it. Spence is Oasis. All right, what do we got here? Well, this is kind of neat. Look at this. It automates all kinds of stuff here. Like, I just got to pay for more RAM. I love it. Minimize to icon adds a button to minimize a window to the notification bar as an icon. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that action. So how does it work? I just click that and oh, check it out. It makes a little icon. Okay, cool. <laughs> so there's all this stuff, right? Window notifications, RAM, processor, profile, all this stuff. But then at the bottom, we have receive $100 at the beginning of every day. Of course, I'm going to buy that one first. Done. $100 in stocks every day. Well, we've given Spence all of our money now. He got me. And Kamala has some new information for us. You've remained a reliable element in our organization spelled wrong. So I have decided to provide you with a powerful new tool which will allow you to unlock customer phones through a remote connection without their code. Due to the sensitive nature of this tool, we expect you to handle it with great care. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to unlock everybody's phone. Accordingly, you will now be able to unlock phones for customers who forgot their code. Can I just forward this? Who can I forward this to? I'm going to just start forwarding all of Kamala's emails to Lana for no reason. Here you go. In fact, I think Lana Black's going to start to get all of my emails. Spence, forward, <laughs> Lana Black. I don't know why this is so funny to me. Hello, Mr. I am Batman. Here's the information about that $1.3 million houses. <laughs> forward to Lana Black. Hi, Vicky. Sorry to say, but you're the first person whose phone I'm just going to unlock without telling. Oh, let's see. How do I do that? Oh, I bet I have to find out their customer number. So step one, customer number. There we go. Now she's in the system. Step two, say something creepy. Meanwhile, I'm going to just say that I received authorization and let's connect to their phone. Wow, look at this. It's like full hacking. And here we are. Let's turn on GPS. Let's uh, mute it. Let's, let's just turn off all services here. Problem solved. Uh, yeah. If I just keep typing in stuff, will it lock me out of their phone? Well, okay. Goodbye, Vicky's phone. Finally, I've been waiting forever. What took you so long? Jeff, it's been 20 seconds, man. You got to calm down. Let's keep you talking while I access your phone illegally. Not getting any sound, huh? Well, you just wait right there, okay? Once I get into your phone, you'll hear something momentarily. I wonder if he's going to notice that I'm sitting here just turning on and off all the stuff on his phone. Uh-oh, Kamala's noticed what I've been doing. I've been notified that you connected to Vicky Thomas's phone without authorization. It is important to understand that this is illegal. Forward, Lana Black. All right, you know, we're going to cap it right here. There's clearly so much more we can do, but the plot continues to thicken. Let me know in the comments once again if you want to see more tech support. Words I never thought I would say over and over again. So that's going to do it for this episode of Let's Game It Out. As always, I am Josh. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time.